the show coming back tomorrow night. Congratulations on getting the pickup for the second half of the season. Thank you. What was that like when you first heard the news that they were going to keep you on? It's got to be good. I was naked in my kitchen. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, was, I was literally, I was about to hop in the shower and my phone buzzed and it was on the, the counter in the kitchen. I have a tiny little apartment in Vancouver and I, I ran out and I missed the call, but I saw it was Phil Clemmer. I checked the message and he was like, the, the article will come out any second. We're getting a back nine. And, you know, it, it's... It's incredible. If you if you get if you get pulled before you you get a full season, you feel like you didn't really have a shot. Mm -hmm. You know, you, it's nice to it's nice to get a full season and see what people think, and gives us some time to to change some people's minds if they aren't into the show, and it gives the people who are a fan of the show, you know, a chance to see what we can do. So, what's one of the things that you filmed already that you're really excited for a lot of the fans to see? There's one fight scene that I'm really looking forward to in episode 13. Uh, because I'm a huge fan of The Raid, Redemption, which mm -hmm. is a Thai movie. I got to do one of my favorite moves from from that from that movie. It's it's a much toned down version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in The Raid, the, the main character slams a guy's throat onto a wooden doorway. Nice. So ours is like a, a, a version of that without the wooden doorway. Yeah, a, a TV-friendly version of it. Exactly. <laughs> But that was very cool to shoot. Now, since you've been on this show, I know you've done a lot of events. You've been to Comic Con. You did the uh, iHeartRadio music. Um, what has the fan reaction been like when you've gone to these events? Everybody's been very, very complimentary about the show. Mm -hmm. um, they've been they've been vocal about what they want to see, and, and our writers are are actually you know they're not I, I I wouldn't say that the fans are dictating where the show goes, but a lot of it. You know, a lot of it is on the same the same track. Um, it's been it's been awesome. Good. Now, on the flip side, when you've been to these events, have you gotten to meet anyone that you've always wanted to kind of have a, ch a chat with? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Comic Con was was incredible. I went to the um, got us to the Entertainment Weekly party after. Mm -hmm. Which and, is always um, crazy. It was, oh, it was star studded. <laughs> Everybody, I, I looked around. I'm like, I'm I'm a huge fan of so many people here. Uh, I got to meet Michael Fassbender, which was that's really, it. really cool. He's, <laughs> I mean, he's Michael Fassman. Yeah. Did he give you any <laughs> uh, mutant tips for this show? <laughs> no, he was hammered. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, since you've been at the CW, is there like a CW boot camp that they make all the male actors go through? It seems like everyone's in incredible shape all the time, 24-7. I, th I feel like they just, you know it's coming. They're mm -hmm. like, you're, you're a male on the CW, your shirt will come off. So... <laughs> You know, get in the gym or a bunch of people are going to look at your flabby body. <laughs> uh, do you think that since you guys are kind of outside of L.A., outside of Hollywood, that it's easier to keep kind of a low profile? Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think that that's definitely part of it. But mm. I think the other part of it is, you know, if you if if you want to be in the tabloids, then <laughs> you can be in the tabloids. You know, mm -hmm. you can have your your publicist call over or whatever. I remember my, my girlfriend and I were going to the airport and uh, we, we have the same publicist and she's amazing but she was like, what time are you going to the airport? I'll make, you know, I'll, I'll call. I was like, we were like, whoa, what are you, what? No, 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 no. We were like, first of all, nobody cares and second of all, that's horrible. Don't ever do that. Please. No one looks good when they get off a flight. <laughs> well, it, we didn't care about that. We were just like, we don't, we don't want to we don't want that. We don't want to be the people that are like, oh, our clients are going to be here at this time and get pictures of them. I'm like, well, nobody cares. Who cares? <laughs> Your fans on do. The <laughs> if fans show up, that's another thing. Uh, speaking of the fans, uh, we did get a couple questions from them since you tweeted for us. Uh, one of them wanted to know, if you weren't acting, what would you be doing right now? Um, I played hockey uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. grew, grew up in Toronto. I played a lot of competitive hockey. I would have tried to continue to play in 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 college probably. Okay. Uh, I think I would have gone into a kinesiology program, some sort of sports medicine, and done you know been been some sort of an athletic trainer for a sports team. Nice. I think. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> One of the other fan questions: If there's any couple on the show that you're shipping, <laughs> um, <laughs> they want to know what team you're on. Um, whatever, whatever attracts the most viewers. Like if, <laughs> if that's shipping Luke and I, great. Then start writing more of a bromance. 
<laughs> I'm sure uh, that's out there somewhere. <laughs> uh, but we, we, uh, the fans can expect a lot more relationships moving forward. Uh, it, it, it's not just a love triangle anymore. Where would you like to see this show go? Is there any, you know, big thing that you'd love to film? Yes, I can't <laughs> tell you because some of it is is how the show is going to is going to go. I've, I'm. <laughs> I've been talking to the writers about where they where they're taking the the, the rest of the season, and I heavily approve. <laughs> it's very cool. It, it's it it's very surprising. It's very dark, and it's I don't think anybody's gonna see it coming. Well, that's a that's a great tease. I uh, look forward <laughs> to seeing what happens on the show, and uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of your filming. <laughs> thank you. Tomorrow People returns with an all-new episode this Wednesday at 9, 8 central on The CW.